significant changes in order to improve. And then the last thing is supplements. Now, some people are a big fan of supplements. And then some folks, they say, well, who needs supplements? Uh, I heard this and I heard that and whatever. Okay, we hear all kinds of pros and cons. Okay? Now, I've been taking supplements for, uh, I mean, I was a teenager. And I've always taken stuff. At one point, I had so much stuff in my house. Some of you have this. I, got, I had a cabinet filled with all kinds. I can't even remember I bought this stuff. But it was in there. Because I read something or I saw something, I said, I gotta get this, I gotta get this, I gotta get this. If I had to take all those things, I wouldn't have time to eat because there was just so many supplements. <laughs> so what I did was, and, and I've been recommending for the, like almost 30 years now for my patients to take supplements. And what I originally did was, I would tell you what you need to get. And then you'd go to the store and get something different because it was on sale. <laughs> so I said, you know what? Let me make my own supplements. And for about 10 years, I made three supplements that I had a chemist, and I had my own brand of supplements that I was distributing to my patients and people when I did my presentations. And then I sort of graduated. I partnered up with a company who had more resources than I did and had a broader spectrum of things to create. And I figured, well, initially, how many people here are business people? Want to be. Anybody here a business person? I want to be owners. Business. Business owners or in business or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or work for a business. I All right? Business. The object of business is to make a profit. Yeah. So what happened was I had to do with something tough, Pastor. I had to say, I'm going to not do my brand, even though I had tremendous profit margin on it, to do a broader spectrum plan with a lesser profit margin, at least initially but potentially a greater one because of its vastness uh, down the road, okay? It's called taking the chance, mm. okay? Because I wanted to be able to provide a better quality of service for my patients. So I had to bite the bullet. I went from like, you know, 700% profit to 25% profit. Mm. That is one heck of a bullet to bite. But I'm very pleased with my decision because I have some really good stuff. Now, in the beginning, when God created man, in the formation of man that was made out of the earth, okay, man molecularly is made of earth. Mm -hmm. Plants molecularly are made of earth. Yes. God took the man he created from the earth and put him in the garden that was created from the earth to go into the man to replenish the molecular structure of the man and be nourishment onto him. It is a cycle that can perpetuate forever if the Lord tarries. Okay? Because it's designed to do that. The way the earth revolves around the sun, everything that God creates is self sustaining, including the human body. And if we did not fall, we'd have a whole lot more relatives around That's yeah. right. today. We were not meant to be into corruption. Okay? Nonetheless, the nutrition, now just imagine this. God plants the garden. The nutritional value of the fruits and vegetables and the grains in that garden were significantly greater than you get at a shop right now. That's right. Are you following? Yes. Okay. You cannot eat, like if you had a bowl of spinach that was from the garden, you'd probably have to eat 50 bowls of spinach to get the same nutritional value that was originally created in the uncorrupted version of God's creation. That's right. Because now it gets even worse. We have everything genetically manufactured. That's right. Okay? You got that, oh, yeah. they have that, you know, that uh, company that's trying to take over the world's produce oh, yeah. by creating genetically manufactured, manufactured food and giving farmers 
seed that produces plants that don't produce seed. That's right. You got to get the seed every time. That's right. So what happens is when the Bible says that a loaf of bread and a pound of barley is going to be like $750, it's because Monsanto has the seed. And we're sitting back saying, who's Monsanto? What does that mean? So all that GMO food, That's it. okay, has no seed. Seedless watermelon. We really appreciate that because we're going to spit them out. I like spitting them out. Come on. <laughs> I like spitting them out. Sometimes I see how far can I spit them. <laughs> Sometimes I like chewing them. Because they're probably good, too. Well, I don't know if they're good or not, and I'm just joking about that. I have to cut that out because my wife sees that and says, what are you telling people you're spitting watermelon seeds? <laughs> Not a good one. I, gotta, I have to have a whole check behavior thing on the video. Okay? But nonetheless, okay, the nutrition that was in the beginning is not even close now. So we need to have proper nutrition. So there's a number of things I suggest when I sit down with somebody. It's like, we're going to sit down. I'm going to check you out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check your spine. Okay, I'm going to check your eating habits. I'm going to check your body fat percentage. And I'm going to go through a questionnaire to figure out what could be lacking in your nutritional profile. And then I'm going to make suggestions of what to do. Okay, but there's a several things that everybody needs. Okay, and one of them is like a powerful green drink mm -hmm. or a green tablet. Mm -hmm. But you need something that's filled with enzymes, chlorophyll, all the um, uh, active um, phytonutrients that will supercharge and enhance the function of your cells, okay? The second thing is everybody, because we don't get these essential fatty acids, your body doesn't produce them, mm -hmm. so you need to get them from the outside. But there's just sometimes how much flaxseed could we eat and how much salmon could we eat and such like that. So we need to have them because this stuff, let me tell you something. This stuff gives you an abundance of vibrance that you've never had before. Mm. I'm telling you, I, the very first time I took this stuff, it's not a hot, there's no caffeine, there's nothing in it that juices you up. It just supercharges your function. Mm. The very first time I got it, I was driving down to Taconic, and I'm, I'm saying to my wife, I'm saying, why does everything look brighter than normal? Mm. And it was a cloudy day, okay? And everybody who, I, who takes it tells me the same story. The uh, omega-3, 6, and 9 for your immune system, for your cardiovascular system, for your ladies, your hair and your nails, your skin. You need to have those essential fatty acids. The next one is a fiber blend. You need a continuous blend of both soluble and insoluble fiber, mm -hmm. okay, to create a properly functioning digestive tract so that whatever you eat ends up getting out in its 10 to 12 hour period of time, Absolutely. not 10 to 12 days. Come on, come on. <laughs> Plus, it will increase the production of your good cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Listen, how many people over here want to live to 100? Oh, yeah. All right, so these are the things you need to do to get there, okay? And then the last thing is an enzyme, okay? A digestive enzyme, when you eat foods, Whatever you do eat, you want to be able to get the most nutritional value out of this, okay? So you need to have something to break down the food so it can assimilate the nutrients into your system. And once it gets into the intestines, it gets out. Mm. You follow me? Yeah. Now, there's a number of other things, but these are the essentials that we need. These are the things that we need to do to get well. But the first thing we need to do is what I taught, I started last night, we continue today, is to get into the proper position. Amen. If you're not in the proper position, you're going nowhere. Because if you can't buy into the fact that you need to make a change, you're not gonna do it. And if you're looking for a shortcut or a deal or a way to circumvent the program or the world about you to get well, it doesn't work. You need to have a systematic plan of diligence. Now, I'm not going to say my plan is perfect, it's the best in the world. I just know that I know it works. Amen. And I just know that when people do it, okay, they will improve their overall health. They will begin to see signs of their body coming back to life where 
the where the other report was is you have to live with it. And I get that testimony every single week in my office. My phone, you scroll to the videos, there's at least 20 or 30 relevant videos right now of people from everything from, I was talking about the lady with the double vision, I got a boatload of people with the diabetes, I have um, a number of people with the fibromyalgia mm -hmm. who they were, you know, they were like had to quit their job and lose their, you know, lose their benefits and their resources and stuff. And all they did was get their spine aligned. And they come off all their medications. And the doctors would say, well, yeah, that's, you know, they were like, they didn't know what to say. But they were like, oh, that's great. You know, it's like, it's great. This woman just got her life back. That's great. I think, I think you need a little better word than great. You know what I'm saying? Okay? I think my sneakers are great. Yeah. <laughs> but getting your life back is beyond great. Okay? So let me give you the plan. Because then what we're going to do, and I'm changing it around a little bit because I guess I'm changing it around a little bit. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. I'm going to explain to you the plan of action for today. And if it gives you the impression I may be making up some of this as I go along, I am. Okay? Just being honest. Been honest so far. I'll be honest now. What we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you what I do at my clinic. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to become a covenant partner accountable with me to help you explode into a new normal Amen. of health. That's what I'm going to do. Now, some of you are going to do it, and some of you are going to fall to your excuses. And I'm going to tell you what the biggest excuse is going to be. You're going to think you don't have the money to do it. But at this point, because I'll tell you a couple of things. One, I don't need, I don't need your money, okay? But you may need me as your coach. Amen. You follow? I believe that my God is going to supply all my needs Amen. because I'm working on being obedient to what He had called me to do. Amen. And I got people say, "Well, I don't know if I could afford this for that." Listen, if God is going to put before you a plan of action that's going to cause your body to resurrect and be healthy, Amen. if you can believe that God sent his son 2,000 years ago to die on a cross who you've never seen, mm -hmm. okay, or physically have seen, okay, and believe and trust. Imagine this. You're trusting that a dead man came back to life, mm -hmm. and because you believe that, you're going to have life eternally. Mm -hmm. If you're going to believe that, now I'm going to come, I'm going to come from a position as a, you know, as an atheist, okay, as somebody who doesn't believe. If you're going to believe that your God got a dead man and brought him back to life, and because you believe that you'll have life forever in heaven, but now you're going to believe that your God can't find you a couple of dollars to help get you well, mm. then I'm not going to be a Christian. Because mm. if you can believe in something that is scientifically, though I do have the answer for this, impossible, you can't believe that this God can't supply you the finances, the time, and the ability to do what you need to do to express his ability in you to be well, Amen. please. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. Because sometimes you just got to trust God to move forward. Amen. So this is what the plan is. When you come in for the consultation, okay, let me give you the plan before the plan. What we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do at my office. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up for for lunch and stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good for time. Okay. <coughs> While we open up for lunch, outside we have some salad and a whole wheat tri-colored chicken pasta. Very good. With two different, one with one type of vegetable, one with a different type of vegetable. Okay. And my team will serve you a portion that is correct to have for lunch. This is not the all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Alright? I'd rather you go home a little hungry and we have plenty of food and we can give some to a food bank kitchen somebody in need. Alright? Nobody gonna walk out of here saying I'm stuffed. Because then I didn't do the I didn't Clayton, I didn't do the right thing. Amen. Okay? Amen. In the process of that Okay, 
We're going to have our tables open over there. And I'm going to.